Oh my, a steed, a lone steed galloping through the the, the, the plains, the the snowstorm. Are, do, do you have no rider? I, I see no saddle upon you, horse. Come, are you okay? Oh my. Oh, I'm very cold. Wait, come here, steed. Come here, steed. Where, where do you, who do you belong to? It's a, it's a lone steed. It, it, there's another one here. Thistle. <laughs> oh my words, there's some arrows here. Let's take these. Okay, actually, I'm getting very cold here. These are like ponies. What's going on here? Okay, I'm getting very cold. My vision is blurry. My friends, welcome to the next episode of Skyrim Life as an alchemist. And we return to Gaius' story where we left off. I was wholly unprepared to enter the Forsaken Cave. I'm not ready, friends, uh, for what awaits me inside. I didn't think to stock up on uh, supplies before coming here. And, uh, and now, now I'm here. This little fire is my only source of warmth. Thistle! My only source of companionship. I probably should have got a companion or a follower to join me here. But uh, alas, again, I did not prepare. So we walk into the Forsaken Cave alone. In search, my friends, of the White File. The al ma a master alchemist's best friend. Uh, and, a, and a long forgotten piece of alchemist legend. So that's what we're going to do, my friends. We're going to walk in. We're going to go grab this thing. So let's go. Oh, and already we see why uh, this cave is aptly named the Forsaken Cave. Rip, rip skelly friend. I, uh, will leave your sword there for now. Oh, I'm hearing wolves. Okay, wolves I can deal with. That's fine. Uh, and, oh my word, there's some, there's some cool stuff here. I might even just grab, uh, grab the axe for now. If I have, a uh, space in my inventory, I can, uh, grab these other things. Bits and bobs and sell them later. That's always okay, friend. See if you can find any ingredients down here. Right. Actually, I need to figure out... Do I have poisons that I can use here? Because, uh... If there's trolls down here, if it's an icy cave, there might be frost trolls. Which means, uh... I need some... Some potions. Okay, there's a potion of fear, fatigue... Uh... Is there any, like... Freaking damaging po like poisons? I wonder if I can make any. Let's see if I can make any poisons quickly. Oh, pull out the portable the thing. Oh no, I'm frozen. What's going on? Come on, pull it out, guy. There we are. All right, let's see here. Uh, damage health, damage uh, undead. Oh, ravage health. Well, let's let's make that. Boom. Poison of ravage health. Okay, we we can we can coat our arrow in that possibly. If we need to. That's the best we've got. Fortify Marksman. I've got a bunch of those potions. So we'll pop those. We'll slurp those down upon upon uh, necessity. Right, I'm here. I'm, yeah, I'm hearing wolves howling indeed. Yep, here they are. Right, let's get our mark. Let's, let's sup down a Marksman, shall we? Potion of Fortify Marksman. 20 points, 60 seconds. I'll take that. Just enough time to cap these guys. Oh, what? That was a miss. Oh, no. That's not good. There we are. Boom. I said, come come closer, buddy. There we are. And you have fallen. There we are. Okay, that potion. That potion came in handy there. Indeed, indeed they did. Right, let's uh let's, let's get some arrows back, shall we? Maybe get a liver and a pelt while we're at it as well. As soon as I become an alchemist master, I should be able to make volatile substances like bombs and explosive liquids. Which means uh we can become a bit more effective in combat. Rather than just using hand, bow, and arrow. But uh, I think that's the end of the... Uh, oh, the end of the wolves there. Right, okay. Is Thistle okay? Thistle's okay. He's hanging back. That's always good to see. Urn's empty. I'm hoping to find a lot of alchemical ingredients in this cave, you know. Because this is an alchemist-based quest. And we are looking for an alchemist item. I would hope that there are many valuable ingredients indeed here. But we shall see, I suppose. Right, let's uh, enter through this iron door. I am going to go sneak mode. Not that it's going to help me much. My sneak isn't very high. Oh, I'm hearing skellies. Okay, that's that's good. I hear the, cl the clicking of the bones. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's seen me. He's seen me, but don't worry. They crumple like paper. Amazing. I shall pick my teeth with you, you skelly. Yeah, so I think we're probably going to run into some dragons, some skellies. I really hope no high-powered magical users. That'd be nice. Oh, actually, I have got a... Freaking undead thing, haven't I? Uh, let's let's coat my bow in that, or my arrows in that. Damage undead. Imperial bow, yes. Now, 
Take this. Yeah, look at that. You don't like that, do you? Sapping your health, you undead. Make another one of those, should I need? Oh, they had an archer. That's six arrows. Wait, they did have an archer. Oh, what was that? Oh, my word. Okay. Oh, a freaking hand. A skelly hand rolled over the trap. Oh, the gods. Right, is there not a, um, was there not an archer here? There was. Can I please take your arrows? Yes, I can. There's, yeah. That hand is, like, perpetually rolling. Look at it. It's, like, rolling on and off of the, uh, the trap. Look at that. Oh, the gods. What about you, guy? Oh, no, my freaking undead thing. It's gone. Have I got any more undead potions? I have indeed. I shall save that for when the more undead come. Right. Okay. Any, any cool treasures around here at all? Nope. Right, I, I, I've, I've got to get out of this cave, man. I've got to do this quickly. I, I, want, I want to live a simple alchemist life. I don't want to be running through caves like this. I thought because it was alchemist-based, it would be good for me. But I guess not. I just want to open up a little shop now. I'm, I'm done living in the wilds. I'm done with the, the wild man excursions. I just want a simple life. Oh, there's a Draga. Oh, and he's an archer. Very good. I shall take your arrows. They will become much needed. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Grave tar. Uh, that must be the the mod edition. Very cool. Okay. Very cool indeed. I think I'm going to save my turn undead. Uh, or poison of damage undead. Uh, for higher level dragas. I'm sure we're going to find some whites. Or maybe even some death lords down here. So let's save that last one we got. Hurt point. There we are. Take one of those. Why don't you? Oh, look at this. Ancient Nord stuff. Very cool. Very cool. If I was a warrior, I would grab those. Oh, my word! I heard those footsteps. That was actually really creepy. I heard the freaking pattering. The footsteps. By the gods. Ah! Ah! Thistle, I've been hit. Buddy, I've been hit. Right. These guys. Take that. Oh, more grave tar. Okay. And more. Very good. Thank you. We are finding a grid down here after all. Look at that. Oh, look at that creepy guy over there. Very strange. That skelly was almost breathing. It almost had like a breathing animation. That was kind of creepy. Oh, what's that? Oh, something. Oh, they're waking up. They're waking up. Thistle, they're waking up. Thistle. Flee, Thistle. Flee. Turn around. One more. Oh, there we are. Get one tapped. Or two tapped. Boom. Okay, so that's why there was still battle music playing, I guess. Is there no one else? Is there no one else? Well, we are for Ooh, look at this. Ooh, some ingots. Yes, please. Some nugents. Uh, ooh, block increased. Okay, very handy. Actually, I'll take that book. That's worth 50. Give me that. Give me that sucker. Right, cool. My word, the Skyrim battle music is very loud indeed, isn't it? Oh, the gods. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> perhaps, perhaps ingredients behind this very door. Oh, my word. Allow me entry, please. Oh, no. I'm not much of a, uh, a rogue. Please let me in. Just like that, we're in. My lockpicking is increasing. Oh, and we leveled up. Look at that. I will save that perk point for for some alchemy uh, alchemy points, please. Right. Oh, man, I'm hoping to find some ingredients down here. I'm not finding enough. This, this is not good. Can I do anything with this skull, ingredients-wise? I don't think I can. Um, that's just a ruined book. Cool. Right, thistle. Stay close, buddy. Oh, more arrows. I'm going to get ni a nice amount of no uh, Nordic arrows down here. Actually, should we use their bow as well? Actually, I kind of like my Imperial bow, to be honest. Right, sneak mode here. Oh, I hear, I hear clicking. Is that guy alive? No, that guy's not. Okay. Oh, I've oh no. I've alerted the skellies. They're easily dropped. I see down there. Look at that. Thin boy. Oh. Too quick. How can you put a bowstring with no tendons left, skellies? I don't understand. I suppose magic explains explains most things. I want to get I want to get back to the hunter's camp, man. I want to get back to the hot springs. I want to just forage. I just love foraging. I mean, part of the reason why I'm doing this quest is to kind of like I'm, I'm I'm scared that like me just foraging and making potions is too boring. But I mean, this is life as an alchemist, so. I should probably just do that forever, right? Oh my word. Oh my word. Ah, oh, come on. Freaking so many undeads, man. If they, don't, if they don't wake up, I shall ignore them, I think. 
the skeleton. Uh, killing the skellies is very satisfying indeed. Just watching them crumple like that. Boom, headshot. Look at that. <gasps> Gold ingots. Look at that. Yes, okay. So we've got some payment from this now. It's it's worth. It's been worth our while coming down here, I suppose. We can sell that gold and uh, instantly turn it into more ingredients. Oh, yes. Perhaps we should uh, go down the path of transmutation, perhaps. Turn turn uh, turn iron into gold or whatever. Get a philosopher's stone or something. That would be cool. Oh, I hear you there, grunting. Grunting away. Oh, my freaking finger. Arrow, my arrow bounced off him. Oh, that's it. Go in there, buddy. Huh? Ugh. Oh, he's speaking. Yeah, speak now when I put this in your freaking larynx. Don't like that, do you, buddy? Boom. Is it thistle? You just chill, buddy. You just, you've earned it. Don't worry, buddy. Thistle, I'll take, I'll take you back to the warm hot springs presently. We just got to get these, this freaking potion. And then we'll be out of here. I, I promise, I promise, buddy. Oh. Are these guys alive or what? What's going on here? That guy's definitely alive. I saw you sneak in there. Can't fool me, buddy. What well, I am worried about is this actually setting off too many traps, so be careful there, buddy. Don't set off that trap, please. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. I guess this is light enough to not set off traps. That's very handy. Good. He has, he has fleet of foot, this all is. I say that as he's going he's gonna to knock this down, isn't he? <laughs> this will be the true test. Oh, the thistle. He's knocking barrels. Oh, no. He, he knows to go around. He knows to go around. Amazing. He truly is intelligent, guys. Oh, silver as well. Riches beyond our belief, and I cannot, I cannot run anymore. I just cannot run. This is not good. We need to drop some stuff. Something has to go. Oh, we potion of health, yes, please. Honestly, I think there's no point in me carrying weapons that I'm not going to use. So sadly, I'm going to drop you. I'm going to drop you. I want to keep my sword just in case. I do need it. I'm not going to pick up any more linen because I think that's also over encumbering me a little bit. Uh, and I want these. I want these silver ingots, though. I do want those. That's just we can just liquidize that into, into raw cash. Because one day we are going to want to start our own alchemist business, our own alchemist shop to retire, and we're going to need capital to do that, my friends. And now we enter the Forsaken Crypts. Okay, straight off the bat there. Still got that uh, that undead po uh, poison in my back pocket, ready to go. Oh, there's more guys here, more skellies. Oh, I missed that one. And they haven't seen me yet. Okay, that's, that's pretty funny. I guess they ain't got no brains anymore, have they? I suppose. Look at this. By the gods. I'm dropping so many undead. The Slayer. Slayer. Nice. I guess we're making up for our loss of uh, steel arrows coming down here with, uh, with Nordic arrows. That'll do the job for now. Very good. Oh, more potions. Yes. Sell those and all. More, more, more ingots. And I'm once again over encumbered. This is not cool. Nor is it epic. Oh, I've got so much rubbish. All the animal bones and stuff are like weighing me down. I really need to make uh, that hunter's cash. And thanks for the comments. I now know that is in Scrimshaw. I've totally forgot. Yes, that Scrimshaw is where you make the hunter's cash and not in create item, which is a bit confusing because I have different mods that have different creation menus within them. So. Oh, look, the Half Moon Mill key is the only key that I've got <laughs> from those vampire guys. We, we need to drop some stuff that we don't need here, sadly. I would say I'd come back. Yes, just look at that superb animal bone, but that's what I need for the Hunter's Cash, I think. Should, should we see if we can make the Hunter's Cash now? Uh, and that might actually lower our, um, our carrot by making that if we get rid of the animal bones. So if we go into Scrimshaw here, bits, bits of bone. Bits of bone. I wonder what that's used for. Uh, cat. Oh, there we are. A cash marker. Yeah, large animal bone. Oh, we have eight large animal bones. By the gods. Why do we have so many? Mammoth bone club. Ha, oh, look at that. Da 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 Damage 18. Also, crude bone arrow. Oh, let's just make some bits of bone and make a bunch of arrows. That'll get rid of our animal bones. We can make them all in pestle as well. Very good. Bits of bone. Bone armor. Oh, we could get like a full-on primitive run here. Look at this. Like the boneman. That would be cool. Engraved bone of her scene. Julianos. Oh, we, should we make a Kinnerath bone? I don't know what it does, but that might do well with us. Let's make an engraved bone of Kinnerath. I have no idea what an engraved bone of Kinnerath does. 
But if we um, if we make a cash marker as well, cache marker, um, and then let's let's make bits of bone. Let's do fifteen bits of bone. Oh, actually, no. Let's do let's do five, and then let's make a bunch of uh, crude arrows. I need six bits of bone. Okay, that's cool. This is this is crazy. This is awesome, Scrimshaw. Um, crude crude bone arrow. That's pretty cool. Oh, a bone hunting knife. Let's do that as well. We're gonna need uh, we need that for our pelts and stuff. So that's that's cool. So what does bone of Kinnereth do? I, I wonder. Uh, that's that's knocked me down as well. I used up some of those animal bones now, rather than just hoarding them. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, so I clicked the bone there. All of your thoughts focus on the deity crudely represented by the graven bone icon, but no enlightenment comes. The idol, its purpose unfulfilled, seems to lose some of its ivory luster. Okay, I guess I need to learn about what that, what that does. Okay, I'm sure there's someone in the comments who knows what those engraved bones do. I have one of Kinnereth now. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Only time will tell, I suppose. All right, at least we can now walk. I won't pick up any more ingots, I don't think. Well, at least not iron ones. I'll pick up some gold. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, a restless fella. He's restless. Oh, he's tough. Hey, you, buddy. Freaking get get dabbed on like that, yeah? Oh, oh okay. That's a bit rough, that one was. I probably should have moved back for that. We're getting a lot of grave tar from these fellas. Yeah, they're, they're, they just seem to be getting harder and tougher the, 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 more, we, the more we go on. I take it we're going to be meeting a... Uh, a death lord presently with some freaking ebony ebony gear probably I shall fire upon him with my uh, my crude bone arrows and he shall not like it so here we are we're entering some kind of chamber here uh, oh this is where we just oh my word okay there is someone rising from the grave there another restless guy oh a chest oh potions are we yoinking that oh, I, ha I have to take the silver I'm sorry has to be done. Right, I'm going to save my level up as well, just in case there's a boss. And uh, I'm on dire straits, I can just use the level up to... To freaking pop up my health. Oh, we've got some guys here. Just a normal normal guy. Oh, let's move back here. Come down. Come down the bottleneck, and I can fire upon you. Okay. You sense danger, do you? That is right, I am the danger. Boom, look at that. Oh, one more hit. Come on. No. Oh, that was close. That one was close indeed by the gods. And what have we got here then? We've got uh, oh, a, a locked door expert. And oh, my word. That was, oh, that was close. I should not have done that. <laughs> oh, okay. And that goes that way. Um, that continues onwards and upwards. I kind of want to see what's behind this door. I think I've got it in me to uh, indeed pick this door. Let's give it a go. I've got 12 lock picks. Oh, we're, okay. We're actually very close to the, the meme here. Very good. Look at that, boom, look at that, very nice for an expert. It's pretty much handed to us there. So let's open this, and there's really, that was really not worth it at all. What's the what's the point? What is what is the damned point of that? The gods. Right then, let's continue onwards, I suppose. I guess at higher levels, there'd, there'd be more treasure in that uh, than my level. Oh, that's, oh that was freaking creepy. He just took it, he just took that like a champ. Okay, what's going on here? I'm gonna take that, you son of a gun. I dare you to stand against me. Right, this is a, this is a long dungeon. Where is the white file? I just want the white file, man. Ah! How dare you, guy? I'm not having that. Do you know what? I might go sword mode out here. I might just level up my one-handed a little bit. Why not? Draw swords! Ah! I took this from the, the Rift and Guard that was slain outside my alchemist shack. Okay, there's one thing I do dislike about this game, and it is the, the fact that the battle music uh, plays until the end of its cycle, even after combat is finished. It, the song just goes on and on and on until like the loop is over, I guess. Which is kind of annoying. So there we are. You have been cut down and slain with much ease. And Thistle, Thistle watched me do it. Watch me slay you and take your life. Okay, there's definitely going to be an entity rising from that. So let's uh, get our bow out once more. Let's see here. Oh, look how many arrows we got. Our right, oh, steel is still the most damaging, so we'll use those for now. 
Maybe we could even maybe lure the entity uh, into, these, into this trap here. Right. This one, I'm sure, will be completely unharmed by this. He's too small to be caught up in that mess. Right. This. Uh, oh yeah, here comes the entity. Right, let us coat our arrow with the undead po uh, poison. Right, uh, damage undead and then damage health as well. So let's do the damage undead first. And if he survives this, we'll simply off him with the other one. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. That worked a charm. See, this is alchemists are most effective in battle when used when used correctly. Oh, there's still a, he has friends. They were too slow though on the draw. Come back here, shall we? Oh, now the trap stopped, do they? Look at Thistle just standing there. Oh, my crude, my crude bone arrows are not are not very effective. They are very crude indeed. Uh, that's okay. I'll use them to their bitter end. I killed their mighty leader. I am now the master alchemist. I've taken their life. Look at that. Oh, God. Don't bang your shield against me. Right. Here he is. Kural Mill, I uh, slew you. I could take your sword, but that might over-encumber me. Yeah, it will. Uh, let's uh, let's take it and figure it out. I wonder if I can actually put it in Thistle's pocket. He can't carry much, but he might be able to carry a singular sword. Would be funny if possible. Right. Uh, should I put a hair carcass in his pocket? There we are. <laughs> oh no, that's kind of that's kind of horrible actually. I just put a, a whole rabbit carcass in Thistle's inventory. That's not very that's not very good. What have we got in here? It's in this chest. So this Kural Mill was a master alchemist, was he? He made the white file, and then he fell. He fell by my my potions and my poisons. How ironic. So wait, is this the way out, is it? Up here. Uh, yeah, that leads that leads back, that loops back around, as all Skyrim caves do. So they know, they know what they're doing. The critters of these dungeons, I guess. Alright, let's go grab, grab the white file. Finally, our treasure awaits us. After existing in this dungeon for so long. Ancient bowl. Oh, yeah, it's the, the mixer that he gave us. Oh. Look at that, the oozing Mountain Dew bowl. Right, what have we got here? Oh, yes! After all, my friends, we were I was right. Yes, ingredients are plenty. Corral Mill, I'm sorry I had to slay you. You're, you're a gentleman, a scholar. Indeed you are, friend. Indeed you are. Look at this. We can even make some potions while we're here. Amazing stuff. But look, here we are. Cracked white file. Boom. There we are. We can now bring it to the Master Alchemist. Very good. And look at this. <gasps> what we wanted, after all. Amazing. Look how many abdomens there are. Just so many vibing ab abdomens in here. Like little little gushes. <laughs> oh, that's kind of gross. Imagine eating a glow bug abdomen. That would be very disgusting. Why have I got an old loot on me? It's like weighing me down. Oh, it's from the alchemist shack, wasn't it? Right, first thing I need to do is I need to run to uh, my base and actually store a bunch of this stuff now that I've got the, uh, the cash mark that we see here. See, like, a Nordic plate. Get out of here. <gasps> oh, yes. Alchemist knowledge. This is what we wanted. Knowledge. Alchemist note. Alteration effects. Many moths and butterflies have properties useful in enhancing alteration magic. Does the transformative life cycle of these insects encourage the development of such traits? Ah, oh, look at this. Blue Clipper Butterfly, Emerald Swallowtail, Alien Moon Moth, Comet Moth. Amazing. A little note of knowledge there from uh, Corral Mill himself, the Master master Alchemist. More damage undead. The game knew I'd be using those. Oh, Churus Eggs. Yes, please. These are, these are rare ingredients indeed. Ectoplasm. Rare. Rare finds indeed. Oh, look at this. More Churus Eggs. Yes. Let's tip these over. Boom. Give me, give me these, give me these, give me that, give me that, give me that. Let us, let us make a bunch of po potents indeed. What have we got down here? God damn, I've overcomed yet again. Right, what have we got here? Oh, apothecary satchel. Filled with oh, rare ingredients again. Oh, a game of dinner. There we are, alchemy increasing ever more. Amazing. More, more stuff. More cool stuff. Oh, yes. Amazing. Right, let us now use all these ingredients, shall we? 
Let's see what we can make. Let's make some useful stuff, shall we? Let's make some more, um... Oh, the retort. Distilled alcohol. I mean... Let's just, let's just make a bunch of distilled alcohol. Oh, well, alchemy's increasing a lot by that. You doing that as well. There we are. That will be used for, um... A bunch of this stuff. We've got poultices. Sleep tonic. We've made, we've made those before. Wax of damaged health. Oh! Last ten times longer than freaking regular poisons, my guys. Where's the where's the wax been all my life? Wax. We need waxes, friend. Waxing our freaking arrows. Devastating wax of damage freaking stamina. Deadly poison of damage health and and look at this. Potent waxes. Sta even like the weak waxes are like freaking epic. We just need some animal tallow and, and, and whatnot, and then we're sorted. <gasps> it's Wax City up in this piece, my friends. Little did we know. Little did we know. Right, let's uh, use the pestle and mortar. And what have we got here? Let us do another cure disease, because that's always, always handy. Let's do that. A little dabbing of that. Cure disease. Very good. Right, I would like some health. I'd like a few health potions. I'm going to need them. Uh, marksman, I've used one of those, so I'm going to make another one. Conjuration, Marksman, uh, Speech could come in handy for us. And then I'll make a bunch that I can sell. Any poisons that we can make here. Let's, um, let's make some damage health poison and then we can turn that into wax. Lingering damage health, let's do that. Boom. Damage undead, let's make it, that was very useful today, so let's make another one of those. Can do another one apparently. It'd be a bit of a weaker one. Oh, I made a dam lingering damage undead again, did I? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Right, that's fine. Right, we need to go to wax mode at some point. Ow, ow. Freaking Nordic bowl, get out of here. Right, speaking of getting out of here though, I think we should do the same. Let's uh let's piece out of these. I kinda of wanna slurp from this forbidden mountain dew, but I, I know it would only harm me. Right then, is there any other chambers oh, oh treasure along along here? I think not, but uh, I'm so glad we came down here in the end, as it, it gifted us with many ingredients indeed. Uh, yeah, that was pretty awesome actually. It was w well worth the trek in the end. Uh, I hope I didn't leave anything behind in here. I have a tendency to do that. Uh, a lot of people a few episodes ago, uh, or like last episode maybe, were telling me that I, uh, I missed some hanging moss. Uh, I think it was from the, the honeybees episode. And uh, as I commentate, I do tend to miss, I do tend to miss uh, some bits and bobs here and there because I do, I do indeed talk a lot. So I'm just double checking now. I don't want to take this book. Actually, how much care have I got? I, I can afford to take this book. I think it's an alchemist-based book. I'll take it. Right. Just double checking. There's no hanging bits and bobs. No garlic or elves ears or anything. Nope. 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 I think I've double checked now. Cool. Right, let's uh, peace out of here, uh, go back to our camp, lay down our cash marker, and then uh, we'll re uh, deliver the, the white file, and then possibly not do the next part of the quest, because I don't think I can reach the throat of the world uh, as this character, because I'm not the Dragonborn, so oh well, let's see. <laughs> and there we are, simply pull this, and we we're back to the very start. Very, very handy indeed. And here's the, uh, the wolves that we slew. Yes. Okay. The cave, uh, the cave may be the forsaken cave, but we made it through. We were not forsaken. Do you know why we were not forsaken, my friends? Today we were not forsaken, for we have the knowledge. We have the knowledge of alchemy by our side, a constant companion. And we can never be forsaken if we have knowledge on our side. We'll always remember that. Let's go. Oh, it's now evening, and it's gonna get very chilly. Oh, there's some Imperials just vibing here. Are you, you good friends? Oh, they're kind of like sky skating on the ice there a little bit. Oh, there's a little band of them. Actually, can I go this way, I wonder? Um, there is a settlement up there. I do need to go this way, but I, what I could do is spend the night in that little settlement there and then come back come morning as it's gonna get very cold here. And also, I'm just kind of interested in what the settlement is. Oh, snowberries, just please. Actually, I can't pick up too much because my carry weight will be uh, fill up soon. Oh, it's this place, of course. It's uh, the Nightgate Inn or whatever. 
Okay, we, we, we've strayed very far, haven't we? We're getting towards White Run now. My word. But look, there's barnacles. Yoink. The hell Jarchin. I suppose we could spend a night, right? In the in the inn, maybe? Perhaps? I, I don't see why not. Good old Nightgate Inn. Worthy for travellers. Uh, yeah, I think I will. I don't like the idea of travelling at night. And then come morning, actually, I could make some more arrows here at the forge. So let us sleep our weary heads away. Let's check my knees quickly. I'm currently peckish, thirsty, not tired. I'm not tired, but I'll sleep anyway. Because screw it, let's go. Oh, oh wait, no, it's just not get in this might have the missing bed meme. Uh, no, okay, there is no missing bed this time. Very good. So we can indeed uh, spend the night here. Amazing stuff. Right, one room, please, good sir. Uh, hello there, traveler. Come so yeah, fill my bottles, why not? I'm now carrying too much. Brilliant. Luckily, I am thirsty, though, so that's fine. 50, 50 pieces by the gods. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show Realistic you room, room rentals uh, right be way. killing me here, friends. Anything you need. I'm getting to Womp as well, so yeah, I don't think I would have survived that journey back uh, in the low temps. So let's uh, sleep. Let's get nine. Let's get ten hours in. Why not? And there we are. Nice early start from us. I'm still uh, over encumbered beyond belief, so let's just eat a bunch of food quickly. Drink that bored water as well. I am full, so I shall slurp down this water. Let's just drink the whole lot then, shall we? There we are. I'm no longer over encumbered. Mm, oh, yes. The refugees. Mm -hmm. My word. Hello there, friend. What do you want? Well, there's a lot of refugees hanging out here, I guess. Is there? All right. Right. Well, let's quickly vibe to the forge. Huh? And oh, hello there, Jen. <laughs> These are all new people. Mm. Let's uh, vibe to the forge and do a little bit of arrow making, shall we? If we can. I think I've got some filed on me, so let's make. Uh, ooh. Cork bulb arrow. Ten damage. Oh, <gasps> lightning arrow. Void salts. Frost salts. Fire. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've got steel. I want to make some steel, guys. Do I need to level up my blacksmithing for that, I think? Let's just do it. Yeah, I'll put one point into into smithing. Just so it unlocks us some steel, fellas. Just like that, we can make... Ooh. <gasps> Should we make his crossbow? A crossbow. Oh, we could. Actually, no. Let's just go arrow mode for now. Uh, let's just go arrow mode. Yeah. Well, let's just make... Not bad. Bunch of lots of those. Very good. Reminds me when I first started smithing. <laughs> oh yeah, I am new. To, I'm, 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 I'm a you know crude smith. I do what I need to to, to keep me going. Uh, and just like that, I've got some more arrows now. So let's go back to our steel boys. And I think I'm going to uh, head home now. We've got a little bit of a long walk ahead of us, but we can of course forage and pick uh, pick supplies as we go. A lot of snowberries to to gather, of course. We could do a spot of fishing here, but I haven't really got the inventory space to be messing around right now. Uh, so let's see which way we should go. There's a mountain pass there. No, let's just go this way. There's no point going that way. Right. Our home is is here. So let's put a little marker there. And uh, do the long the long trek back home. I guess we can cut across the countryside, actually. That's very handy. Nice. We won't, we won't, won't follow roads this time. Very good. I'm sure off the beaten path as well, we'll find more, more ingredients. I would hope so, anyway. Oh, there is another cave as well. It's tempting. A tempting cave, but uh, I think I'd have an, uh, enough adventuring for one day. <laughs> so I should ignore you. Oh, and of course, there's a spider waiting for me. Very, very... Oh, what's going on? Yeah, put my bow out. Right, come here, spider. Dwarven spider. I see you hide. Look at him trying to hide behind the freaking thing. Yeah, they're a lot tougher than the Draga inside the other cave. Oh, there's wolves as well. Oh, the... oh my word. There are many things. Hawker versus wolves. Look at this. Come on, Hawker. I believe in you. Just destroy these wolves. I do want to need this hawker to uh, annihilate these wolves. That'd be pretty epic. Come on, hawker! I believe in you, buddy. Oh no! <gasps> they killed the freaking hawker. Are you spider? Why don't you fight the wolves? Don't you hurt a thistle? Oh yeah. Okay, that's destroyed. Right, I'm gonna kill these wolves before I leave my high ground as. Uh they're ice wolves and they are very tough indeed. Look at that. Yeah, it gets freaking sniped from a distance. Not so fun, is it? How dare you gang up on that hawker? He did not deserve that. You're encroaching on his territory. Look at them running into the woods. Okay, he's gone out of existence. I think it's safe. Oh, is it safe for me to leave? I think it's safe for me to leave. Maybe maybe cutting across the, uh, the countryside was not a good idea after all. Perhaps. But uh, yeah, I will not be entering Bronze Water Cave today. No sorry. 
It looks like the, uh, the wolf did annihilate uh, the spider. <gasps> how do they how do they ruin such such refined fish with blood? Look at that. My word. Any fish in here? Oh, I'm, the air is bone chilling. I'm getting colder. Right, we, we, we need to not mess around anymore. We need to just get home. But there is ale. That will warm us up if we need to. Right, let us uh, yeah, get out of dodge, shall we? Escape these here walls and cut across maybe here. Oh, there's more barnacles. Oh, but it's so freezing here. Oh, I need to be quick. Right, grab the barnacles. Those water-breathing potions do come in handy. I saw some more barnacles here as well. I see you there. Right, the hot the hot springs will warm our spirits up, I'm sure. Let's give this a chance. Oh, no, I, I, I screwed up there. I screwed up. I screwed up. Oh, what have I done? What have I done, bros? Oh, no. What have I done here? Oh, I should have taken my potion. I should have once again. I didn't take my freaking potion. There is a mill there that could warm us up. Right, flower tea it is. And ale. Flower tea and ale. This will keep us going. Yes, that's, that's worked a charm. The wolf there, we shall ignore. The mill is just there. Uh, we shall warm up once again inside that house that we did last time. Well, actually, no, there is a fire as well, isn't there? Up here. Do you know what? Let's just, let's just go down here. Like this. Like this. Okay. Oh, the wilds of Skyrim is so unforgiving and harsh. There was a fellow with a, with a fire down here. Yes, he's just there. Good, good sir, allow me to allow me to use your your humble fire, man. That mountain flower tea that I brewed up, I'm so glad I did I did that. That saved my life. Once again, I was found uh, rummaging around in the in the waters, in the frigid waters. Here we are. I can take campfire for my own, but I won't. I will leave it here. This fella deserves it. Yes, warm yourself, friend. Warm yourself. There we are. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, he's, he's none too pleased. Gaius is none too pleased here. Been looking for you. Oh, uh, have you? Have you indeed? You found me, friend. What is it? Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the yard. Ah. Oh. Moving up in the world, eh? Has my uh? That's it. Got to go. Has my prowess in alchemy been noted by the yarl, Has it? I see. Can't seem to get any warmer. This will have to do, I suppose. Um. Oh, there's a whole there's a whole ass corpse there. Look at that. Don't hurt me. And oh, there's some mud crabs here. Sorry, little guys. I don't. I don't want to tussle with you guys. I promise. I didn't want to encroach on you. Right. Well, you, you leave me no choice, there, buddy. I'm gonna give you a little little tap. I'm guessing they they ate this guy. Bit of a shame. Very mud crab, but uh, you stand in my way. I didn't really want to fight you, but you left me no choice. Yeah. You one of those. I saw some more barnacles here. Indeed, I did. Can I take their uh, their kite in? That'd be very good. I can indeed. Uh, it weighs so much though. It weighs so much. I want I want more. Oh, look at this little guy, juvenile mud crab. Look at him. Look at the little vibing guy. Right. Oh, is that is that loot there? What is that? Is it are those barrels I see before my very eyes? Why have I got why have I got so many mammoth snouts? Right. Honestly, Ancient Nord sort of chills might become my new sword. I might get rid of my Rift and Guard sword, you know. Just throw it on the ground, but that, that feels so wasteful. Let's see, firewood, we can always cut more firewood. Leather rabbit. I don't know why I've got that helmet. Let's just get rid of those those suckers. Oh, look at this. A little stash of sorts. Oh. <gasps> There's Quicksilver here. Okay, we must remember this. This is very cool. Ingredient barrel. Oh, snowberries. Right, we shall leave this here and come back one day. A strong box. Ah, oh, so tempting. Like, like, how can I, how can I ignore this? So tempting indeed. Well, I'm breaking many more lockpicks on this one than I did even the expert one. The gods. What's that about? Oh, yes, please. Damn, we're leveling up like mofos this episode. Oh, the gods. All right, let's once again warm up by the fire because we've dipped in the in the waters once more. But uh, we can't get any warmer. And so I wonder if we can we vibe in the I tent and get warm. Mill, no, we can't. I, I had to leave. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. You haven't you haven't gone too far, have you? You've, you've just camped outside here. Someone's after me, I tell you. Oh, okay. They're watching me somewhere. The, the feeling of warmth of your drink is worn off. Okay, that's not good. Just warm up a touch, friend, and I'll drink some more, and then we'll head on out. I think if I warm up as much as I can here, drink one more tea. I can make it to camp. 
I think it's possible, friends. Thistle was warming up himself. As, as a wild hair, he, uh... He's got good insulation. Right, we can't get any warmer than this, so we shall slug down a, uh... A mountain flower tea. And then, indeed, uh, continue on our way to the camp. So let's slug down a mountain flower tea. We've got two, so this one should keep us going. And once this runs out, we'll, uh, drink the other one. So I'm hoping we can make it in time. There's another cave up ahead as well. Very interesting. I will, uh, keep note of the cave locations for possible ingredients. And rummaging. Who goes there? Oh, a bandit. I see. Okay. Let's test out my new sword of, uh, chills that I got from my good friend Kural Mill. Oh, there's a camp of sorts here. Who are you there? Ow. Bandit archer, I see. Hey, you don't like that, do you? Yeah, look at that. I should now kill your friends from up high for blocking the road. Well, I'm warning you, I've already slew your friends, so it's too late for you, buddy. And I shall indeed coat my bow with many poisons. Where is this guy? Is he, is he beneath me? Well, I already know he's beneath me, but is he actually physically beneath me? He's always a bandit warrior. Right, here's what we do. We go around this way. Uh, and then we do this. Poison of damage health upon our bow. Upon a dead man's gun. And I see him there. Look at that. Look at that. Dra completely dra Look at that. Boom. Man, these poisons. If this is what poison does for us, think about what wax will do for us, friends. Yes, when we coat our arrows in wax. Look at this. Ironwood nuts. Be taking these nuts. Yes, please. And uh, there's some more food and, and stuff in here. There's vinegar. Uh, I, will, I will make note of this. I just can't grab any of this stuff right now. I need to go back to camp. But luckily, this is this place is quite close to the camp. Um, is there any more bandits down here? Yeah. That's going to be bandit controlled for sure. Right, let us journey back on onto our camp. And then we'll uh, lay down that cash, I think. I really want to grab all these ingredients, but I just know my... Inventory is about to max out any second, so it's okay. We can always go on another uh, excursion for foraging. That's fine. <gasps> those are purple ones. We are lacking on purple mountain flowers, so I must grab those. But we are not too far. Oh, look at this place. <gasps> what? Oh my, what a pleasant place this is. By the gods, it's almost like a, a little grove. I think it is a grove. Mara's Eye Pond. Perhaps I make camp here. I'll be leaving my hunter friends, but... This place is so pleasant, so maybe I'll lay down my, my cache here, and then move... I might move up here, you know, guys. What a pleasant little place. I mean, we should we should really kind of suss it out uh, in case of in case of nerdy wells. I've got the... It's just, it's just a vampire place. I think there's, like, vampires around here, so maybe we'll hold off for a sec. Get the mud boys out of the way first. But, uh, is there, like, a is there like a freaking thing here? Oh, mud guy, get out of here. Uh, yes, it's here. Look, yes, Mara's Eye Den. Oh, that's a vampire control. So actually, maybe, maybe this place is not the best for, uh, for freaking making camp. Although the vampires, I don't think, would bother us. But then again, do we want to leave our, our hunter friends? We can always come back, right? I'm now, once again, I'm over encumbered because I'm an idiot and I pick up too much, too many things, right? Ah, oh, right, let's eat things, shall we? Let's just eat two cabbages, casual style, and get out of here. Mara's Eye Den. Uh, oh, look at this little guy. Goldfish. Goldfish, come here, buddy. I see you, buddy. Right, we'll, we'll come back here. We'll, we'll um, go back to camp. And then I think we'll journey back to this little this little den. Uh, it's very cool. Those are vampires, I believe, down in that, in that Mara's Eye Den, so we'll be careful about those. Maybe even clear them out, possibly. But, uh, oh, actually, no, this is a lot further away that, to, than I thought. It's actually not as close to my camp as I, as I previously thought. That's okay. Nice little nice little glade area, though, isn't it? I could see myself living there. Oh, hello, friends. Pilgrims on the road, I see. Always welcome sight. I really want to pick up this, but will I become over and come? I will not. Okay, that's good. Well, hello. Hello, Pilgrim. Well met. Right, once again, we journey across the frigid waters. Yoink, yoink. Oh, it's cool and refreshing this time. I'm seeing so many ingredients, friends, that I just cannot pick up. I must double back. I will double back. 
We are approaching our camp. I remember the spider cave. Yes, I do. Right, the camp is just up this way. Very nice. Oh, so many dragon's tongues, please. I beg you. Yeah, I'm just going to be ever encumbered if I pick up any more. We've got a lot of fish as well. The cod is in our pockets. Uh, dude, fry up some cod fillets, man. Make some fish and chips up in this piece. That'd be much... Much, uh... Morale boosting, I think, living out in the wild. I mean, the fast approaching uh, our camp, which is nice. We must find a nice hidden place to lay down our marker and store all of our belongings in there. So let's see here. Um, we've got our camp over this way. It looks like the dragon songs have been growing back as well in our absence, which is very nice. Uh, where is indeed our camp? It's over this way, I think. Got another little hare running. Right, let's see here. Yep, here's the camp. The hunters basking as ever in their uh, in the hot springs. Well, I could wedge Munghelm uh, a cache like here or something into the rocks itself. Yeah, that looks, that, looks, that looks like it would work. Or I could hide it into the trees or something. Oh no, right here. Perfect. Per perfect spot is here. Right, let's drop our marker then. Drop ski. And then I'll place it between these rocks here, make it look as organic and natural as possible. Uh, actually, maybe that would do. And that looks that 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 does the job. I think that does the job. It blends in well. I think. Kind of glitch, glitching a bit around here. Right. Let us store a bunch of stuff. Like the Riffin Gar Sword will store. Right, let's go store a bunch of rings and stuff for now. It's be a little bit of a treasure pot as well. Right, let's get rid of these mammoth snouts for now. We don't really need that. Put all of our fish and cod and stuff in here. I hope it doesn't go mouldy in there. Oh, cabbage half. Right, I'm going to also store a lot of my ingredients in here, of course. Just to get rid of them for now. And then when I do make potions, I'll grab them and then make potions. I think that works for, well. As a little system. Very good. Right, what have we got here? Here, here. Bear pelt. Right, this is where it's going to be loaded up. So let's store our pelts. Let's store our ingots. Well, I've got five torches. I'll keep two of them. Cracked white file. Kinneraf drained. So when I activated that, I ended up draining it, did I? I'll keep hold of that for now, because I really want to find out what that does. Right, there we are. We've uh, freed up a lot of inventory space there. And we're uh, we're back in camp now. Uh, yeah, I think this might be a better place in that grove to live. Uh, I think the grove is just over there, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a bit too far away. And uh, here's a bit close to the city so for trading. And, of course, we have hunter friends that should we be attacked in the, in the, in the night. We have friends that can back us up. And uh, maybe I'll join them for a little basking sesh in the uh, in the hot springs. I think I'll do that, you know. I think I've deserved a little dip to wash off the muck of the adventure that I've had today. So uh, let's find a nice place to rest up. Maybe sit next to this friend here. Can we sit sit down here? What do you want, Imperial? Hey, I want to just bask along with you, friends. That's okay, if that's okay. Listen, I'll stay. I'll stay. Uh, <laughs> I'll stay enough apart. You know, I won't, I, won't, I, won't, I won't go shoulder to shoulder with you guys, but I do want to bask here as well, friends, if that's okay. She's, she, she's, she seems to be basking in a nice place. I think I think he'll do. Should, should, we, should, we, should we also lie down? Should we also bask? Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Look at this. Oh, no, underwater. No, I'm drowning myself. I need to go on the land. Oh, Thistle, buddy. <laughs> stop, smelling, stop smelling the nice hun hunter, please. Thistle. <laughs> please. Let's bask here, shall we? Don't mind me. I'm uh, gonna bask alongside you if that's okay. Oh yes, yes. Oh yes. What a pleasant. <laughs> this is amazing. These hot springs. Oh yes. My little body. I've uh, I've earned this. I think. Look, the, the thistle was thistle was thistle was sitting down as well. <laughs> oh yes. We're washing off a day's a day's uh the day's muck. We've earned it, my friends, and I think this would be a completely apt place to leave this episode, my friends. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. Your viewership is always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.